As we found out yesterday at the Shanghai World Expo, the pavilions incorporate green concepts. At the entrance to the Expo Access, which connects all the exhibition halls, there are six steel and glass funnels, which help support the roof, collect rain, and draw in fresh air. It is as if six morning glories of steel and glass had sprouted from the ground itself. Ten stories tall, their mouths are as large as a soccer field and forever turned towards the sky. With the sun-like lettering down, they form an area called sun valleys. They look like glass funnels, and there are six of them, each directing sunlight and fresh air into the exhibition halls. So I can stand here on the second basement level in the bright sunlight and breezes from outside. Over 40 meters in height, the features collect fresh air and sunlight from the outside and deliver it downwards to the underground levels of the Expo Access. 一般的建筑通风的话，需要风机。With most buildings, ventilations rely on exhaust fans. Those take the dirty air and blow it outside, and that needs electricity. So this lets us use the outside air and light. But because it's so tall, it works like a chimney, delivering the waste air outside, while the fresh air naturally flows in from the sides. When it rains, the water is funneled by the structures into subterranean cisterns beneath the second basement. These cisterns hold 7,000 cubic meters of water, which is then filtered, sanitized, and used for most of the building's needs. Now imagine if we didn't have these rainwater systems. The water we use for our gardens, the toilets, or on the floors amounts to about 500 cubic meters a day. In addition to these remarkable funnels, the Expo Access also sports a 65,000 square meter membrane roof. The columns which support the roof are hollow, enabling the membranes to serve as rainwater collectors, along with the slopes by the sunken building. Originally, the earth filled this area here, so we dug it out further to create a sunken square. You can see some drainage holes like there. The water goes down and gets collected below. Altogether, these methods can collect up to 130,000 cubic meters of water. It's an impressive conservation feat. Yet there's one more bit of conservation wizardry at work here—a heat exchange system to make everything cooler. I'm standing on the Huangpu River, and though you can't see them, pipes at the bottom of the riverbed function as cooling system for the expo grounds. For the sake of the expo, a system of pipes has been installed that runs from the Huangpu River directly under the expo grounds. The pipes direct river water through a heat exchanger using a passive heat pump to keep things flowing. Every hour, 1,200 metric tons of 16-degree Huangpu River water flows to the exchanger, thus helping to cool the expo axis. After which, it is returned to the river's bed. Visitors to the access can really feel the difference the cooling system makes. This heat exchanger system is featured in the future pavilion as well. Everyone may sense the interior of the exhibition halls are especially comfortable. If you look, it's clear that these things that have been mounted on air conditioners, but a natural fresh air delivery system. No air conditioners and no noisy water towers. The only thing needed are occasional intake and exhaust points where the outside air can enter. No electricity is needed. During winter, Shanghai's temperature sometimes drops to three below the Celsius zero. For this, Huangpu waters aren't exploited, but instead to the natural heat of the earth below. We take the heat from the ground waters below. And after pumping it up here, it warms the outside air a bit. And after it cools, it's pumped back down to the cisterns below. By bringing the heat up and dropping the cold down, the expo access avoids any need for external heaters while keeping a toasty, comfortable temperature throughout the cold winter months. 
This has resulted in a nearly 100% drop in the Expo Axis energy and water demand, and without adding any pollution along the way. These are architectural advancements for the ages and herald a brighter, purer future for us all.